Let me, let me take this chance to introduce someone whose desire and goal is to make H2O enterprise ready. Tom Kralivik is uh, what we call the green man in the building. He wants to make sure everything is green. All tests are running in green. So. Well, just, just a word about, about me and the things that I like. I like to see people use what we're doing. And one of the reasons that I decided to come here and join Shri and Cliff and the team is because I knew that at this company, customers were going to use what we were going to do, and it was going to be exciting. And seeing you folks in the audience and to have today people, you know, our users come and be able to present to other folks about their experiences with H2O, for me, that's really, really rewarding. And taking that one step further, you know, looking forward into the next year, we want to be able to make an additional redoubled emphasis on stability, quality, documentation, things that make the experience of the user better. Um, additional examples of that would be adding improved resource admission control um, for, for algorithms so that when you start algorithms, having the system be able to help you and guide you into giving the right parameters and to, to being able to, to withstand um, you know, bad user inputs. Um, additional diagnostics and logging, things that help you as a, as a, as a customer be able to, to figure out what's going on with your H2O instance. Just everything that combines to make a good enterprise-ready experience, that's, that's really our goal, to, to take that even further than we have in the next year. Does that mean you're adding net new? Team members and quality and documentation. What's coming? All, all of the above. Absolutely, we're we're hiring. We want people to to join the team to you know work on playing the role of the customer, right? To be able to put their shoe their, themselves in the customer's shoes, do what the customer would do, um, find find issues before the customer does. You know, a year ago, Shri and I were kind of joking that it was, you know, staying one step ahead of the customer, literally one day ahead of the customer. And I think we've uh, now ex expanded that, that time frame, thankfully. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Tom has uh, definitely put in uh, a lot of green blood into the product. And that's brought um, real stability and testability, more of a process behind the chaos of a startup. Um, and so I think, I think uh, as he builds his team, we're really excited of the, of the machinery behind building this great product here. So thank you very much. Thank you. And thanks to everybody in the audience. <laughs> Next, I would like to uh, bring Patrick and um, Spencer. They're looking at doing a lot of our work and sorry. And as they as they gear up, the, the key piece of the demo, we would like to start the demo now that we actually know the next sequence of speakers are also here. Um, flow. So this is Prithvi. Prithvi is a genius at building user interface. And I'll let him uh, present and actually do the demo. So. The core vision behind Flow, which is what we are announcing, is being able to integrate your command line experience with your web experience. So this is Flow. Uh, this is uh, an interactive, web-based, open source GUI for H2O Dev. And H2O Dev is the, the dev-friendly project that Cliff introduced earlier. Uh, Flow is an interac interactive computational environment in the sense that you can create uh, multiple cells, and you can add code into these cells. And when you execute these cells, they produce outputs. And you can have rich media in there. You can have code. You can have uh, rich text and markdown. Uh, you can do math uh, and, and embed like YouTube videos. And, and anything that works in a normal web page works inside of Flow. And you can, you can combine these multiple cells. Uh, you can save them as flows. You can record, replay, and, and share them with others and collaborate with others uh, on these flows. Uh, but where other interactive computational environments 
uh, you, you enter code and you get text out of it. Uh, the unique thing about Flow is that you enter code and it gives you a purpose-built point-and-click GUI interface for every operation in H2O. Uh, and I'll demonstrate that in a moment. So, um, so new users to, to Flow can click the Assist button. And what this is doing now is I executed a function called Assist, which throws a GUI with a list of all the operations that you can do in H2O. Um, I can click on import files, which executes a function called import files. Uh, and this is a fully interactive experience. So uh, because there's an API in there and it's difficult for new users to understand uh, how to use an API, what are the arguments to each of the functions in the API, this makes it really simple for you. Because if you, if you happen to call a function with the full list of arguments, it does what you want. But if you don't, it helps you by throwing a GUI at you and accepting the right kind of parameters. So I can go in here and I can say, uh, I want to import a file, which is prostate. Um, I can add these files in there. Uh, I can say import, and that runs a new function called import files. You can parse these files, and it shows you. So H2 has gone through this file, and it's figured out this is a CSV with a comma-separated uh, uh, set of values. And you can go in and modify all the column names. Uh, I can parse this. That creates a job for me in H2O. Uh, I can view the job. The job is done. Um, I can view that, and it shows you the entire frame with all the columns, uh, with some basic summary information about it, uh, missing values, zeros, uh, mins, maxes. I can view the summary of each of the columns. Um, I can see the characteristics. I can see the distribution. I can plot it if I want. So this is a plot of the histogram for the age column in prostate. Uh, so it does a lot of things for you. It, it, it's basically a wrapper around the H2O API, but it makes the API a lot more usable because it, it takes the API, it uses the box standard API under the hood, but what it does is it gives you nice little formatted tables that you can then plot and do additional things with it. Um, if I want to build a model, there is uh, there's a bunch of clips that, that helps you with the common operations in H2O. So I can just say build model, and that gives me a pop-up with all the algorithms in H2O. Let me choose GBM. I choose prostate as a trading frame. Um, I exclude ID. I choose capsule as the response column, and then finally go and build a model. So now GBM is running. It's, it's done. I can view the output of the model. Um, and there's a whole bunch of details in here about what went into the model and what came out of it. I can predict, and for the purpose of this demo, I'll just use the same uh, frame that I trained it on. I'll say predict, and it's run a prediction. I can inspect the prediction. Um, I can look at what came out of it. So this is the AOC and the Genie and scoring time that's come out. Uh, I can look at the scores. Uh, this is the raw set of scores that came out, and I can plot them. Uh, for example, if I want to see the ROC curve, I'll say, give me a line chart of uh, false positive rate on the x-axis and true positive rate on the y-axis. And I say plot, and that gives me the ROC curve. So as you can see, I, I did a whole bunch of things. Uh, for every operation in H2O, there is a corresponding operation inside of Flow. But even though it is a programming environment meant for programmers, I didn't have to write a single line of code. So all the common operations are all in there through point and click interfaces. But if you want, you can combine them uh, and, and do little, little programming-like things uh, and export them as, as flows that you can then run as batch processes. So this was a very quick overview. I don't have much time. But if you have suggestions or feedback as to where you want to take this going forward in terms of uh, what you want in terms of language support, like do you want R in here or Python in here, um, feel free to uh, give us feedback at h2stream at googlegroups.com, and we'd love to hear from you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Prithvi. As you can see, Flow integrates the command line and, the, and seamlessly blends the UI with, this, with, the, with the command line. And where that actually leads us into, and one of the things that you haven't seen and didn't come out well is, it's actually CoffeeScript. Right? Yes. Which is a meta language for JavaScript. So if you, if you get all the way to take from Java developers, Scala developers, R, Python, and, and the DSLs there to co connect 
the base machine learning experience into JavaScript that widgetifies your big data experiences all the way to the applications at the top. So fundamentally, it, it expands the core population that can play with machine learning. And that's kind of a fundamental improvement in the space. Next, I would like to bring uh, Jeff Bode. We're playing with a product called Play. Right? And um, play.h2o.ai brings cloud experiences into the core H2O. Let me pull up Play. Sign up for an account. There is some security, yes. <laughs> okay. Create a cloud. 16. Pick different versions, right? Play with different versions of H2O. One of the talks you'll see today, later today, is actually um, um, a talk by Chris Sievers, um, who built Krylo, is the audience. Um, essentially, what we've seen customers do is take H2O and then launch data science clouds on demand for their data scientists as they're doing different experiments. And we've seen them struggle at different levels with EC2, with Azure, different backends, Google Cloud, or their own homegrown clouds. So what we did was productize some of that experience into play so people can actually do that and playground, it's a kind of playground for data science. Over time, we want to bring in different data sources, widespread data sources that you can really use and connect and, and, and actually learn from other data scientists who are on the same cloud and share different secrets of doing this. So, so Jeff uh, is, uh, brings a tremendous experience from cloud environments and putting together data science um, with big data centers and so that's kind of what we are going to apply for you guys, for your experience. So over the probably rest of the evening, you'll see some of these, um, um, some of these talks that will talk about how customers are using it. And we, we totally expect people to be playing with H2O. This will be a great place to do your uh, proof of concepts and test different hypotheses uh, on how you could use H2O. With that, um, I want to bring, um, bring um, kind of the core pre principle behind why we have the team here. Startups are a team sport. Most products are not one-man shows. There are a lot of really good products take a lot of teamwork to do. And in your success is our success. And to do that, we have a fantastic team here. And that's kind of the core vision here. The rest of the show is really a lot of fun. There's a ton of interesting things that are coming up, and um, before we leave the stage, let's give a round of applause for the team on stage here.